A consumer group in New York has asked toy maker Hasbro to stop selling assault style weapons that fire foam nerf darts. What about the uh, the nerf balls? Those things are a lot. The nerf rival line is a lot better than the normal nerf line anyway. Yes. And my daughter wants the uh, she wants those ones bad. She's got a few of the darts, obviously. They're a lot of and fun. She's got that really big sniper rifle. That we oh, bought yeah, at the gun yeah. show. Remember that thing? The yeah. whole story? It was her first time haggling over the price of something. She was so proud of that purchase. She almost never uses it, by the way, because it's too big for her. But she was really happy carrying it out <laughs> when she's older, maybe. The Empire State Consumer Project has written a letter to the Hasbro Board of Directors saying, as the holidays approach, we are reminded of our mission to protect the safety of children. They're Nerf. It's Nerf. Okay? Nerf. As we watch holiday toy commercials, we see the Nerf Ultra 1 and other extreme Nerf machine guns for children and are reminded of mass shootings. No, you're not. Nobody's reminded of mass shootings. It's a Nerf, okay? Nobody's reminded of mass shootings when you see a Nerf. Anyway, reminded of mass shootings that have devastated American children and families for decades now. In these times, the TV ad for this product plays like a Saturday Night Live parody, except that it's not at all funny. It wasn't meant to be funny. It was meant to sell Nerf guns. You're the one that, that tried to say it was supposed to be funny. The commercial shows a, child, a child's parent giving him progressively bigger Nerf blasters until the child's grandmother shows up and gives him the Ultra One, a drum-fed toy gun that can hold 25 soft darts. I, I, soft darts. How many, how many years now has Nerf had a, a, had a, uh, a drum? Uh, a while, but this is it's, their brand new one. Okay, so this is the this is the brand new one with the brand new darts that fly farther oh, and the faster. New darts. See the darts that Nerf that, Ultra darts. So the the darts that Bree has for her um her sniper rifle are the bigger darts, but you can put the normal size darts inside that bigger dart, yeah. and then it shoots twice as far. Isn't that great? God, I love. It. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that at Walmart. Yeah, it looks like a futuristic Tommy gun. Yes. Yeah, and it, awesome. it's battery powered, and so it must, oh, it's it, even I do better. believe it's full on. Yeah, even even better. Yeah. It's awesome. Do you remember Zappets? Joe doesn't remember Zappet. He's too young. Remember Zappet? Remember Zappet came with two different colored ink? They had a whole line of weapons. There's two different colors. And you would shoot each other with the ink, and it was uh, clothing safe ink. So when you shot somebody, they actually looked like they were bleeding out. Remember that? Back in the day, when we could actually have fun doing this stuff. Anyway, it's a matter of this being a very vulnerable consumer group. God, you must be horrible in bed. Children buy what they see, and we're, we're and we're not sure that this is driven by market demand for assault weapon toys by children or the industry creating the demand. Okay, let me first of all, uh, every boy that I have ever known, with the exception of maybe two. Okay, there's a couple of nerds that I can think of. Not, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd. Okay? I'm a total geek. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying that that was the group that they were with. Who didn't enjoy playing war or shooting guns or cops and robbers or cowboys and Indians or whatever. Okay. Everybody does. We went to the, what is it? Mill, Miller, Miller Brook with the, the Christmas lights, the big thing that they do around here in Granger, whatever. We did that last night and it's beautiful and it's amazing and you should do it. We do it every year. And no joke, we're probably 20 minutes into this thing. And there's a kid. Looks like he's probably 13, 14 years old. Maybe he's 12. Okay. He's running around. He's got, I think it was a snow shovel. And he was pretending to shoot everybody in the cars. Okay. He didn't have a nerf. He didn't have a real gun. It was bored out of his mind. And he was shooting people with a fake gun. And we thought it was funny. That was hysterical. Uh, he's just running around. He's playing. He's just being a kid, man. Uh, when your products themselves violate most of your proclaimed corporate value, something is very... Shut up. God, these people are terrible. Can you imagine actually going to a Christmas party with this person? I mean, just, really? Like, honestly? I am I'm more entertaining at a Christmas at your, party than this, than I'm this person. I'm just laughing is. at your commentary, Casey. I think it's entertaining. <laughs> God. 
Oh, don't try spiking the punch around this person. I don't even know who it is. I don't know if it's a guy, girl. I don't think it really matters. It's the, like the organization who put this out. It's a nerf. Okay, grow up. Start acting your age for crying out loud. You're acting like a bunch of spoiled little brats tattling on the teacher because somebody is talking or passing notes in the back of the class, and you're upset that it happens to involve the girl that you like and some other guy who's making a move on your gal, even though you've never said two words to her because you're too chicken to do it. Uh, let's see. PJ Media mocked the move in a piece headlined, The Real Target of New York's Attempt to Ban Assault-Style Nerf Guns is Masculinity. <laughs> Assault-Style Nerf Guns. <laughs> I love PJ Media. They're great. So when I posted this on Twitter, <laughs> I posted, I said, uh, Mayor Pete didn't carry assault Nerf guns over there so your kids could shoot each other with them over here because he's still running around pretending that he shot AR-15s and things like that. And that's what he carried. And that's been his go-to line for the entire thing. It's so stupid. And there's always been anti-toy gun consumer groups. And by the way, a lot of those have been politically right-leaning religious groups. But holy smokes. And you listen to the stuff that they're talking about in this thing. It's you, you know full well that their spouse is not happy. That's that you know, crystal clear that they are not a good person to be married to, if they are in fact still even married. We got more coming up. News Talk 953, Michiana's news channel.